We come up with another question of chapter 1 real numbers of class 10 from NCRT exemplar. So in today's video we will be discussing with third question of exercise 1.4. Let's start solving this question. Prove that one of the any three consecutive positive integers must be divisible by 3. It means we need to prove that one of any three consecutive integers, consecutive positive integers that should be, that must be divisible by 3. So, we will be getting three consecutive positive integers and we need to show or prove that out of these three, at least one must be divisible by 3. So, let's do this question or the solution of this question. We can give it a try. I will give you some time. Give it a try and... Meanwhile, before starting the solution of this question, please share, like and subscribe this video if you like it. Now, let's move on to the question. We need to prove that one of any three consecutive positive integers must be divisible by 3. Now, we can consider a number A where Q and R are positive integers now when a is divided by 3 then q is the quotient and r is the remainder Now over here, we will be coming up with three consecutive integers. So let's say, first one is a1, the second one is a2 and the third one is a3. Let me change the color. Okay, now by Euclid's division algorithm, let's write it down over here. So by Euclid's division algorithm, We will be getting a equals to bq plus r. That means a equals to 3q plus r where 0 is less than r is less than 3. Which means that r will be 0, 1 and 2. So now let's see we got 3 numbers a1, a2 and a3. They are consecutive positive integers. So let's say then a2 will be a1 plus 1 and a3 will be a1 plus 2, A1 plus 1 or we got A2 plus 1 or A1 plus 2. Now, we can see that it is a divisible by 3 or not. So, we will start doing it. So, when r will be 0. What will be a1? We have a as 3q plus r. So, when r will be 0, a1 will be 3q plus 0. That means only 3q. So, now would that be divisible by 3? Yes. Since it's 3 times any number, that will be divisible by 3. How about if we have r as 0 and a2 is a1 plus 1, which means we have 3q we got a2 as or we can write it down as a1 plus 1. So, 3q plus r which is 0 plus 1. So, we will be getting 3q plus 1. Is it divisible by 3? No, it is not divisible by 3. How about a3, the next number? That will be 3q plus 0 plus 2. So, we will be getting 3q plus 2. Is it divisible by 3? No. So, we can say when r is 0, only a1, that is first number is divisible by 3. How about when r equals to 1? So, that will be 3q plus 1. Is it divisible? No, it is not divisible by 3. Here it will be 3q plus 1 plus 1, which will be 3q plus 2. Is it divisible by 3? No. Let us write it down for this. 3q plus 1 
plus 2 which will be 3 q plus 3 or we can write it as 3 bracket q plus 1. Now is it divisible by 3? Yes, it is divisible by 3. So we can see that if r equals to 1, one of these 3 positive integers, consecutive positive integers is divisible by 3. How about when r is equals to 2? So when r is equal to 2, I will be getting 3q plus 2. Not divisible by 3. We will be getting 3q plus 2 plus 1 which is 3q plus 3 and we get the same thing 3 bracket q plus 1 which is divisible by 3 and last but not the least is 3q plus 2 plus 2 which means 3q plus 4 which means I can write it down as 3q plus 3 plus 1 which will be 3 bracket q plus 1 plus 1 or again this is not divisible by 3. So what we finally come up to this conclusion that hence one of any three consecutive positive integers must be divisible by 3. When i equals to 0, this is divisible. When i equals to 1, this is divisible. When r equals to 2, this is divisible. So we can see when r is 0, 1, 2, we can say that one of three consecutive positive integers must be divisible by 3. Thank you so much.